So now we are at a really fun aquarium center and pet store just to have fun looking around before we head into Costco. Little baby ferrets. I see, but that one's out. That's really neat. They have the, like the little eyes on top. <laughs> Those are cute. Nope. That one's making it. Those are parrotfish. Yes, this oh, is definitely I the saltwater anemones. Oh, So poor Gabriel forgot to pack a book bag of things to do and it took me quite a bit to get my list and my recipes all gathered up and synchronized for today. So I've been joking, Gabriel I'm so sorry you had to wait so long and he said it's okay I figured out I'm a good waiter and we have figured out how long I can wait. So now we're heading into Costco. Gabriel got the big Costco pizza slice and I got this hot turkey and provolone sandwich. Another pencil sharpener. Travis would probably like a fresh pencil sharpener for it. This big thing of construction paper. Cute little dresses. Lots of good Bob books and school books here today at Costco. Got lots of good school stuff out. I'm probably going to get this for Naomi because she loved those fancy Nancy books when she was little. And then look at this set. I have most of these, but it is another, uh, it's $16.99. And look at all the wonderful books it has in here. And this is really cute. So they didn't have any of those 9 by 13 pans, but they have these. And they are, we'll show you upside down, 19 by 11. And it was only 10 bucks for 15 of them. Got our salad priorities happening here. Big ranch. And then get some Italian. How you doing, Gabriel? Gabriel's doing so well. He's been pushing this huge cart for me, overflowing. And then mine's getting pretty full too. I'm gonna get some of this chicken now. These are the bags we get. We get 10 pounds, 239 a pound. What do you think Gabriel is at this time of year? Been wanting to get a fresh, big fresh uh, dog bed for Glacier and Avalanche that we can take outside and spray. These are four big dogs and they kind of sleep on a pile on top of each other anyway. Here we go. So I think we're about all packed in here. So this is Gabriel's Treat. It says story and activity fold out storage case. So it's gonna have a sticker pad, a notebook, puzzles and games, looks like some crayons. Oh, here it shows everything. Puzzles and games, story case, marker, crayon box. Just looks like all, oh, here you can see inside of it. That looks like a great, yeah. great goodie, Gabriel. That's your payment for all your pushing. <laughs> so now I know what we're gonna call this haul. Uh, this is our $1,000 Costco haul. It's actually $1,020 and I think 69 cents. They uh, packed us up well on a flatbed <laughs> to get out, and then we have this cart too. Gabriel did a lot of good pushing, right? And you earned yourself a Star Wars treat. There you go. Well, yep, you could, you carry that into the back seat, sweetie. This, you can actually pick that up and put that over the seat too. Well, let's try to get some of that stuff in. So we got a system. Gabriel is gonna get cans and household stuff up front, and I'm gonna work on getting food and such in the back now. So sad, only 2,900 steps after all that shopping and Costco and Sharp Shopper. You would think, yeah, not that much. I, I would've got more if we would've been home. Here's how the back is looking. I realize with my neck, I've actually been being careful and uh, I don't wanna pick up that big banana box right now. So we're just kind of unloading the bananas into another box and uh, then we'll yeehaw home finally. So we are back from all of that shopping. We got everything laid out. I'm gonna show you guys everything that we got in Costco. We've got one of those, uh, I don't know, two foot long receipts here. And our total was $1,020.23. So before tax, it was $9.86. And then after we had $33.89 in tax, and that's what pushed us over that $1,000 mark. You know, that's a big number, but I don't go to Costco every week. It's been a couple months since I've been to Costco. Last time, the last time I vlogged it, um, I ended up, there was a bank holiday and I couldn't get money transferred and get to Costco and get all that done. So I ended up just doing Walmart grocery ordering for that month. Anyway, 
What this breaks down to is it's about $300 in non-food items, which I actually have a separate like household budget for, and then I have about $700 worth of food items. And again, I won't be going to Costco for another six weeks or so. There's a bunch of stuff I didn't get today that I will be in the morning while I drink my coffee and the house is still quiet. I will work on a Walmart grocery pickup order and I will send Mr. Travis to get that because I got a whole bunch more freezer meals, all kinds of yummy things that we're going to be cooking up here in the next few days and getting those videos filmed for you too. So just showing you, I think I'm just going to start down here at all the, uh, all the fun non-food items. So I got our napkins there. I got a big pack of plates. Now I've been using nine by 13 pans for my freezer meals. Costco have these, uh, 15 full size deep steam table pans. And these are 19 by 11 and a half. And so I figured, hey, I'm going to do my freezer meals in these this month. We'll just break the recipes down appropriately. But uh, yeah, these will be massive. So I'm at least going to do some of them. I'm getting tired now. And I'm now I'm thinking, why did I do this? Why did I buy these? But they were $10 for a 15 pack. So I figured I'm going to try to do some freezer meals in them. Got the big old thing of large family style Costco toilet paper and then I got our dogs this big bed they sleep like on a pile together anyway and so we got them a fresh bed I got myself these socks now there was a sign at Costco that said these were $6.99 and that's why I got two packs but on my receipt where did it go yeah on my receipt it says they came in at $9.99 so I guess I'm just not going to fight that I didn't see where those extra dollars were taken off anywhere else either. So I think I got duped on the socks for $6.99. This was a great deal for $9.99. Oh, I'm not feeling it. But they had lots of cute sandals there. So I got them for the kids that they had them in their sizes. This is for Amelia. These were $9.99. And these are for Liam. They were $9.99. This is something with have, having kids that get older. Miss Naomi. I mean, girlfriend's already taller than me. Uh, I pretty soon will be able to tell the difference between my jeans and her jeans because hers are going to be longer. If you don't know already, Travis is six foot six. Our older boys are already over six feet tall. I'm sure that Naomi is going to be a six foot tall woman. And uh, one of my friends the other day was telling me she was six foot two by the time she was in middle school. So that, that very well could be Naomi. Anyway, we wear the same size shoe, size 10 ladies. So I got two pair, I got us a gray pair. And then these were $16.99 then with $4 off for those sandals. So I got us a gray pair and a black pair. I thought these would just be great for our lake days coming up, which I'm excited for, for those to get started. Then, uh, of course, you know, I had a whole homeschool mom panic attack in the book section <laughs> with all the good books. So, um, and this is expensive, but again, they're books, right? It's okay if it's books. These are uh, Nancy Clancy books, $16.99. These are chapter books, and she's always loved the fancy Nancy books. So I just know she's going to love <laughs> these Nancy Clancy. And we were almost, I had seen where the author of those books had a book signing and I was trying to get us to go and it just it didn't work out but Naomi was excited anyway I got a whole bunch of the Bob books that we did not have and since Amelia just turned five so she keeps telling me I'm in kindergarten I'm in kindergarten I'm like you just turned five in February so we're rolling into kindergarten and she's already you know like bringing me books and let's do our reading lessons and all that so I just invested for her and then for Daniel we've got this Bob Books, the Sight Word Collection, and then we got the Pre-Reader Collection, and then I got Collection 1, which is Beginning Readers and Advancing Beginners, and Collection 3, because we already have Collection 2 that I had got at a book set at some point, so this is Complex Words and Long Vows. And some of the kids always make fun of the Bob Books and say, these are such awful pictures, how can these even be books? And then other kids really love them. There's a lot of free printables and such online, um, especially I think it's now I've met the lady. She's my friend. She's even was a printable contributor on my FHD site. I think it's called This Reading Mama. Anyway, she's got lots of good free printables. So those were some of my uh, homeschool mom Costco sins tonight. Then we will walk over here. 
I got a big, just big old thing. This was $19.99, and it's a 152-piece of um, their little version of Tide Pods. Got a huge mammoth thing of Windex because we were out, and I have I like to refill the bottles, and we need to do some windows around here. I got this. A lot of times we use vinegar spray, which is a great non-chemical cleaning, uh, but Jaden's been doing a lot of the bathrooms, so I got this for him. Figure he can handle that. Uh, we got a big old thing of gallon freezer bags, and then some a case of toilet bowl cleaner and fabric softener. I got the uh, the big professional quality thing of plastic wrap, 3,000 square feet. That should do something. And then I got the big Reynolds food service foil of the aluminum. I know it's April now when I'm filming this, and today was a beautiful day. But we're now, now they're talking about snow. It's so silly. So anyway, we still got the thing of flavor ice. I got a big thing of olive oil because Travis likes to do cooking with that. Three pack of ketchup, some salsa, because I wanted to do some salsa chicken in the Instant Pot at some point in the coming weeks. We got bacon crumbles for salads, because you'll see I got lots of good salad stuff. And some Italian dressing and some ranch. And then our big mammoth thing of bananas that was over 40 pounds. Got four big cans of the green beans, four big cans of the tomato sauce. And I always love this tomato sauce deal because it's like $2.99 and I do my homemade spaghetti sauces and such with it. Then I got a ton of meat. I might get that out for you here in a second. But with uh, the chicken, let's see here, 10, 20, 30, 40. I have 40 pounds of chicken. Also over there from Costco, we've got steak, we've got pork chops, all the ground beef for my freezer meals and chicken and pork, and I got a big steak roast, and I got steaks for, for Travis. People probably still ask why we don't do Zycon Fresh or the Zycon Meats. I know there's been some good like coupon codes and stuff, and a lot of people wanna, wanna share about that. The big reason why I'm not doing Zycon at this point is whenever I do the math on how much meat I would need, I would need a second freezer just to hold the meat while I also flip around and get meals made with that meat or even just to store it. Because so far, when I look at Zycon, it looks like, like they'll have their big chicken delivery one Saturday. And then it looks like if I need, we'll say pork, well that might be a couple Saturdays out. And it looks to me, whenever I've gotten on there and played around with the orders and done the math on how many pounds I need for it to last me until their next ordering time, it just, it looks like it's spread out over many Saturdays and it's complicated. Um, and I would need another freezer to store it all because I pack my freezer out with freezer meals. So right now, even though Zycon Fresh uh, looks like a super great deal, I'm just not in a position where that's reasonable for me. That's also why I don't do anything like buy half a cow where I had a friend offer for me to go in and, and buy like a whole pig or half a pig about a year ago. Again, when I broke down how many pounds I would have and what I would need to store it in since my freezers are already full of other stuff, it's just not worth it to me to buy another freezer and to make space for it just to have all that meat. Fruit and veggie wise, got a whole lot of romaine lettuce. Got two big bags of pears. These were a good deal. They were like $5.99. Got these big old grapefruits and we love grapefruit. Got two packs of plums, a pack of kiwi. Two blackberries, of course not enough blackberries, but you know, those will be like a quick, <laughs> quick thrill. Uh, we got some baby tomatoes, English cucumbers, just one thing of peppers. Obviously fruit and veggie wise, I do plan on getting some other things at Walmart. And with our fill-in hauls, you know, we get a ton. Um, and so when we're out, I will go in after church or send Mr. Travis. Don't worry, we'll get more. Uh, more tomatoes, mushrooms, big thing of carrots. I think this is a 10-pound bag of carrots. Yeah, so this is what a $1,000, $20 over $1,000 Costco haul looks like. A lot of the meat that's in that box is several hundred dollars. I think all the ground beef I got was, um, I think it came to like 130 the steaks I got were came to 100 The beef roast I got is a 10-pound beef roast. I want to say that one was uh, like $39. So it all adds up. But I have a plan for all of it. And again, all of this, especially all that meat, that gets spread out over six weeks for our family of 10. 
and uh, not just freezer meals. I plan my freezer meals that I'll that will use them three to four nights a week, and then the other three to four nights, Mr. Travis cooks or I use the Instant Pot or something else. But they're just convenient when we have them. So that is it on my Costco haul. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I'm gonna go now, but I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye bye.